Oscar-nominated actress who might be best known for taking all your money at the poker table and her role in the Child's Play franchise. The latest installment is a series called Chucky. You can see an all-new episode tonight on Sci-Fi and USA, but she was also part of this scary and possibly very costly scene in her bathroom. No. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. I made a big mistake. Let me get find out what happened, Mara. Kind of looks like a dream bath. Uh, say hello to Jennifer Tilly, everybody. I mean, I, I said scary scene, but that bath kind of looked magical. Well, like, what's the story? Did you forget right. it was on? Every single season, when there's only been two seasons so far, myself and Don Mancini, the creator of the Chucky series, we like to take a naked bath together for <laughs> social media. And you know, and Don is conveniently gay, so he's not <laughs> interested in me in that way. Conveniently gay, yes. that's amazing, okay. So, this was, this season I was like, oh, I wanted to make sure that I had a lot of bubbles to cover my its and bits because I have more its and bits than usual. Nobody yeah. wants to see them. Oh. So I put a whole jug of bubble bath in the bathtub and then I turned on the jacuzzi and I oh. went out of the room just for a second and then I came back <laughs> and obviously it did the trick. But the good thing is there were lots of bubbles, more than enough bubbles. It yes. kind of looks amazing. Yes. yes, and you know what? Everybody's jealous because Don and I do our little naked bathtub scene and they all want to be in it. But I think if you have other people in the bathtub scene, it becomes salacious. <laughs> if you have like the straight Not guys a in the bathtub gay scene, man. <laughs> it becomes like a, a weird sexual harassment thing. Like yeah. Jennifer Tilly made us take naked bath with her. Yes. Uh, human resources. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Favorite part of today is conveniently gay. Um, so, so wait, have you ever had a bathtub, like a bath get away from you and forget, like with your kids, like you left it on? Uh, and then like water no. spillage? You never done that? No. No, me I, neither, I don't, Michael. My kids just, my kids just push the water out. Oh, yeah, on, yeah. They, they, don't, they don't need it to go over. They, they yeah. just push it over and just splash mm -hmm. and try to dive and stuff. It's like Aquaman, really, they're playing Aquaman. Yeah, they, they think yeah. it's it's like the ocean and it's weird. Yeah. Kids love yeah. bathtubs. Yeah, I do too. My yeah. boyfriend once, okay, I'm not gonna say he smokes pot because um, I'm not gonna say that, but he gets but very absent-minded. <laughs> he, turn, he turned on the bathtub and he <gasps> forgot about it and he wandered away and he went to his um, office doing like, you know, the kinds of things that seem very, very, very important when you're in that sort of floaty state of mind. And then he heard a noise, he's like, what is that noise? And it was like, glub, glub, glub. And he looked and there was all this water pouring under, oh, no. under the door of his office. And then he was like, oh no, oh no. He went in, there was about a foot of water all over the apartment. And it turned out that a lot of the other apartments down below, they had major water damage. And Phil paid for it all. It was like over $70,000. He paid for it in his poker money, which came out of his box and comes in big bricks. It's not like real money. It's oh. like, here, have a couple bricks of money. Please, please don't sue us. I just want to come over to your house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like so much fun. Yeah. Like, and so does Phil. <laughs> yeah. 